How is it that in a world full of fashion designers, image consultants, stylists, personal shoppers, etc., you're still going to your closet, opening it up and saying, I have nothing to wear. Maybe not you, but maybe somebody that you know. This is a global phenomenon with women all over the world. There is a reason for it, and it's much simpler than you might think. So you have a closet, sometimes two, sometimes three or four or more. And I work with women who have like teeny tiny budgets and teeny tiny closets to limitless budget and five closets and two rooms dedicated to just their clothing and their shoes. But the problem is the same, regardless of the budget. So it's not a money issue. The time is the same because everyone has 24 hours a day. It's not a time issue at all. It's how you manage your time. So the problem with going shopping and buying and continuing to fill up your closet is you're buying the same stuff that you have in your closet that you're not wearing. You're buying the same stuff that you have in your closet that you don't know how to mix and match. You're buying the same stuff that you're seeing in the fashion magazine or in marketing that you have bought before through the fashion magazine or the marketing that you still don't wear. You're buying the stuff with the price tag on that is still hanging in your closet last month or last week. So you're doing the same thing, expecting a different result, which is the definition of crazy, right? You have to take a different approach to get a different result. That is just basic logic 101. So here's the deal. When it comes to style, and, and you might be a homeschooling mom, you might be a corporate executive, you might be a teacher, it doesn't matter what your profession is. You as a woman were designed to get up, dress up and be a bold light on a hill, period. End of story, that is the deal. Those are the facts, that is the truth. And if you, you're not sure about that, then mine's somewhere over there, pick up your Bible. Go and study fashion and beauty and your identity from the scriptures. That's where I study mine. So you have this closet, it's full, it's bustling. It's maybe lacking a little bit of color. There's lots of black and gray and navy and maybe the odd kind of splash of color here and there just to remind you that you have tried different things and you don't confidently go to your wardrobe. You don't know how to pull out an outfit, accessorize it and walk out your front door knowing that you nailed it. Here's why. You're simply lacking the recipe. It's as simple as that. When I go into the kitchen and I learn to cook or make something new, I for sure make uh, sure that I have the recipe, the ingredients, and the tools. Everything that you do that is new is going to require a new understanding from you and a new recipe or a new way. And then you just repeat, 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 repeat until you don't need the recipe anymore. It's in your head. It comes as second nature. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You are now amazing at whatever you're baking, that perfect chocolate velvet cake in the kitchen. Style is exactly the same. And once you understand this, it will just become so encouraging to you because you, you once didn't know how to ride a bike and you were fearful and now you can ride a bike with your eyes closed. Although I don't recommend that. You once didn't know how to drive a car and you didn't know, oh my gosh, am I going to blow up the gearbox? Am I going to crash? Am I going to, and now you can. You do it with a coffee in hand and on the phone and texting and videoing and all that jazz. So style is just a skill. It is not true that people are born fashionistas. There is no such thing as a born athlete, a born fashionista or a born leader. Leadership skills and people skills and athletic skills and competitive levels of excellent skills are trained and rehearsed and practiced and mastered and crafted. Style is exactly the same. And when someone says to me like, what is your style? I'm like, well, uh, one day I might be boho by the afternoon. I might be in boardroom like suited and booted and by tomorrow I'll be on the beach. I don't have a style. Style is a mindset. This is something very important that can be a game changer for you. Style is a mindset. Once you understand that, it's how you speak. It's how you carry yourself. It's how you connect with others. It's how you seek opportunities. It's how you raise your kids. Style is a way of doing something that presents you in a professional, beautiful, modern, fun, gorgeous, confident, successful manner. That's what style is. So if you're doing it professionally in your business, if you're doing it, if you're taking raising your kids seriously, if you're working on your marriage, why wouldn't you do the same with what you wear? That is just how it works. There's a recipe for every department of your life. It's just exactly the same. So if style is just a skill, then all you have to do is like, oh, okay, so where's the blueprint? What are the ingredients and what are the tools that I need? It is much easier than you think to build a beautiful wardrobe on a budget. I have a far smaller budget than the majority of my clients, far less. Um, I even spend less than the average American woman spends per month 
um, on, on clothing. That includes a top here and there, a pair of jeans, a pair of shoes. That's not hair and makeup and, and stuff. So once you have the recipe in hand, think about when you started uh, driving your car, okay? Or learning how to drive or you went for lessons. We had the K53 method and you have to, you know, turn it this way and like no one does that anymore. We just, you know, but you know how you have to uh, use your indicators. You know what, you know, the ABC with the pedals, you know how to, um, if you work a stick shift or, you know, if it's manual or, or automatic, it, it, it was in the beginning, it was kind of, oh, I don't know how to do this and I'm scared I'm going to get it wrong. That's how you feel maybe when you open the, your closet and you go like, I'm scared I'm going to put together an outfit that I'm going to look like an idiot. You're not, you know. But let's say you, you do, so what? So what? Action is the only difference between your status quo and a different tomorrow. Your status quo and a bolder, more confident, more beautiful tomorrow. And, and what you wear impacts everything. It impacts your mindset, it impacts your marriage, it impacts your money, it impacts everything. And you know that, in your heart you know that. You can deny it as much as you like. And then if and you're gonna stay in denial, you and I are never gonna to get to meet. We're never gonna do life together. We're not gonna have fun with fashion. So you know that in your heart because it's in the scriptures. And if you don't believe the scriptures, then you must go to your other source of life, whatever that is, because everyone's different and understand, do I have a spirit of excellence inside of me? Am I supposed to put my best foot forward? Am I playing to win in my life with the, with the, with the years that I've been gifted on this earth? It doesn't matter who or what you believe in, the facts remain. And your beauty is like gravity. It is a law whether you believe in it or not. You have a spirit of beauty whether you exercise it or not. She's there and she's just waiting to come out and play. So where do you get the recipe? www.lindapagepaige.com. Watch the case study video and get to the end of it. And then you go, okay. And if it resonates with you, book a call with me. Do not book a call if you're like, well, you know, I'm not, no. No, no, no. I, I'm not in the business of persuading or convincing anybody that they need to get up, dress up and go and play to win. That's not what I do. What I do as a style coach is I am in the business of handing over the blueprint that I've used on myself for 32, 33 years now since the age of, younger, since the age of 17, when I had an encounter when I was nine years old uh, that inspired my passion for fashion and opened my eyes to realizing, oh my gosh, this is a tool, this is a vehicle that can take me places. It can open doors. It has completely changed my life. So from the age of 17, I have the blueprint, I've got the ingredients and the tools, what to buy, where, for how much, in what color, online, in store, how to mix and match it, when to wear it for what. Those are the, the, the tools to put the ingredients into the recipe that is gonna get you dressing up and walking out your front door every day knowing that you nailed it, knowing that you feel and look confident and beautiful. There's no better feeling than feeling strong in your personal presentation. Okay, there are better feelings, okay. This, anyway, sex is better, but hey, listen, let's focus. There, there, it's such a powerful, beautiful feeling as a woman to walk out into the world, wherever you're going, to the grocery store or to the bank or to a really important meeting or to pick up your child and, and feel beautiful and feel ready for your day because what you wear impacts how you feel and how you perform. When you dress well, you feel well and you will do well. So when you're feeling low, dress up. It's gonna lift your game. It's gonna empower you. It's gonna energize you. Hot pink is an energetic color. So what I wear when I'm feeling low on energy, red is my number one favorite color. Why? It's a bold, beautiful, biblical, powerful, beautiful color. Black, I love black. Black will always be back. And, and as long as you don't wear black to hide, you must wear black to highlight. So coming back to the recipe, self-confidence is not the same thing as self-esteem. And here's some good news on it. And they're very, very different. And self-confidence is not the same word, same as being bold either. Bold is a very different thing to confidence. But one of the four things I teach that pushes your self-confidence up the fastest is new skills. Because when your skills go up, your value goes up. When your value goes up, your confidence goes up. When your confidence goes up, your esteem goes and all of those things. And let me tell you something, preparation attracts opportunity. If you are going to wing it and shoot from the hip and be spontaneous and, you know, you're in your sweatpants and your hoodie and I have yet to see a woman look good in a hoodie. I've yet to see a woman look strong, confident and really sexy in a hoodie. Okay, and I've seen maybe one or two models who are professionally made up, who have people helping them. We don't have that, you and I, we don't have five people running around us order. Those models work hard and they have people doing that. So you can have a model with a hoodie all sexy and size zero with gorgeous long legs. I don't have that. 
So the hoodie, anyway, I'm quite soundtracked by the hoodie. There's another item that um, I just will not have in my closet. But anyway, <laughs> back to the point, back to the recipe. You want to teach yourself and your children the simple secrets and steps to style. There's not three steps or six steps. Or, in fact, there's, no, there's not one definitive set of steps for anything in life. It is a race. It's a journey. It's a marathon. The, the scriptures talk about running the good race. It is a marathon and it is not a sprint. So you have time. Here's another myth I want to bust for you. Time is on your side. Time is on your side. Time is not something out there that is attacking you and you're like paddling to keep up, running to keep up. No, you have the gift of time. It is something like this beautiful bracelet. It is something that's been put in, put in your hands, the gift of years, of hours, of minutes on this life, and you have it. It's not this force over you that's like dictating your, no, the, the gift of time is here in your hands. And you decide, well, I'm going to give some of it there, and I'm going to give some of it there, and I'm going to give some of it there. At the end of the day, it's gone. Tomorrow, you have the gift of time in your hands again. So, silly but playful little uh, analogy. You have time to get up and dress up. How long does it take me in the morning? Well, if I uh, come back from my power walk and I get in the shower, let's say from shower to um, out the door into my office, looking like this, I would say uh, 20 minutes because obviously I have a very, very easy haircut. It's part of my style. It's part of my routine. I refuse to spend half an hour on my hair. I love long hair. My gosh, I would have long hair. A, if I, had, if I didn't have such fine hair, it is super, super fine. It's like baby bum fluff it's so super fine and when it grows it just goes it just makes me look wan and tired and um and older i think but i love long hair long hair is just beautiful blessed hair is just beautiful but my hair is easy i have you know mastered my, my makeup routine i definitely could have done a, a a more detailed job on my eyebrows this morning as i was talking to someone i noticed i'm like hmm so eyebrows need a little more definition, but that's okay. We're not going for a perfect polished presentation. We are going for good, excellent, bold, confident, successful, approachable, connecting, right? So that's what I want you to think of. Go to lindapage.com, check out the video case study on the homepage. And then if it resonates with you, if it, if it makes you go like, man, I, that's the problem I have. And, 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 and I want to be over here, over there. I'm here and I want to be over there. The power of personal style is a bridge. It has been a bridge for me for 30 something years. I had no business being on some business projects that I was offered years ago. It was way above my pay grade, way beyond my skill set. But I was told, you look the part, we can teach you the rest. Just continue to get up, dress up and, and would you please just uh, pitch up the same way every day. Just how you dress, don't change a thing. I was like, wow, they really appreciate this. Like this marketplace, Globally, by the way, I've worked and traveled 44 countries. I've had a blessed career, powerful, demanding, amazing career. Style is just a skill. And if you want to learn to meet that man, stop meeting the wrong man because how you dress is attracting a certain kind of guy. If you want to nail that interview, if you want to go for that promotion and, and stand out head and shoulders, if you want to set yourself apart in a competitive, let's say, real estate market, if you want to, if you want to uh, spice up your marriage again, if you want to raise confident, kind, creative kids to the gift that is clothing right under their, their noses every day, if you want to increase your income, and that's not something I guarantee, but that is a common result in my client base, then you want to learn the power of personal style. Go on to lindapage.com, check out the video case study. And if you're serious about saying, I want to explore what this entails and, and, and how it works, because I'm deciding to take action. It might not be my program you enrolled in. It might be another one. But if, but if you've decided I'm done, I'm done feeling frumpy and frustrated. I'm done being overlooked. I'm done just not, not, not living my best life. I'm done not feeling beautiful every day. Book a call with me. Let's talk. And let's talk about the recipe and the blueprint that could take you from your status quo to a bold, beautiful, and confident tomorrow.